everyone, welcome back. Rebecca Jean here with Style My Sweets. I'm so excited to bring you some fall DIY decor today. These are gonna be Dollar Tree fall DIYs, really affordable, easy to make, neutral for fall. So I feel like these could really fit in with any fall decor. I've got some fall earrings. I found these really pretty leaf earrings at Target. Love them. <laughs> so kind of getting ready for fall, but you know, honestly, I'm still really enjoying summer, so. I am enjoying getting into some of the fall crafts now, so I will have a lot of that coming for you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those. But I mean, in the meantime, I haven't started decorating yet. Comment below and let me know when are you gonna be decorating for fall? And you know, when do you usually start? Because I probably will start in August, but I haven't started yet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into these neutral fall decor DIYs. So let's go ahead and get started with these fall DIYs. For the first one, I'm taking one of these plastic trays. This is from the catering section at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a stone finish spray paint on the inside of it. It's a little bit see-through still, so I think if you did another coat of maybe a solid beige color on top of the stone finish now on the inside, I think that would really complete the look. I didn't have one, so you can also just leave it as is, and this still looks really cool. I'm gonna add some floral foam in the middle and start creating an arrangement. I'm beginning with these cream colored mums from Dollar Tree, I think they're so pretty. And I just did like a row of them down the center and now I'm gonna fill in around them, alternating with some green and brown berries and more of the mums and then also some of the cotton and pine cone picks that Dollar Tree has. You can use any color that you want for this. I think these just look really beautiful for some very simple, classy, neutral fall decor that could pretty much go with any decor style. And while you're watching, comment and let me know, have you started any fall crafting yet? When do you plan on decorating for fall? I feel like I need to get started with the crafting because I know Dollar Tree has a lot of fall things coming out now, but I'm not quite ready to start decorating yet. Probably in the next few weeks, I'm definitely still enjoying summer, but also going to get started on my fall crafts at the same time. For the next one, I'm taking one of these signs from Dollar Tree. They definitely have signs like this throughout different seasons. This one with the sunflowers is really pretty, and I actually used it in the past in a sunflower themed end of the summer slash fall coffee bar that I did, but I actually wanted to paint the back of it and create something a little different for this year. And to do that, I'm gonna do some chalk paint on the back. It dries really quickly, so I definitely like chalk paint because how fast it dries. And then I'm gonna make some lines on here vertically to just make this look like it's wooden boards or wooden slats. I took a ruler and spaced them about one inch apart, and I'm just using a copper marker that I picked up in Dollar Tree to make the lines and then in order to kind of soften up the edge a little bit I did go back and just kind of dry brush on a little more chalk paint kind of whatever was left on my foam brush here I just kind of rubbed that onto the lines to smooth them out and just make it a softer look a softer more aged finish I guess there's also the two little holes that are in the sign where the hanger used to be here and for that I took a little bit of the spackle from Dollar Tree you don't honestly don't even need much I just rubbed a little bit into those holes and that took care of it so now you can't even tell the whole thing just looks smooth and perfect for a little sign now I'm gonna take this half of a pumpkin and spray paint it rose gold I actually cut it in half last year I used the other half for something last year and I'm gonna use this half now this year for my sign I'm actually gonna try to make this look like a pumpkin shaped coffee mug that's my idea let's see how it works out so for the handle I took a little wooden letter O from the pack of wooden letters that Dollar Tree sells in their craft section and I just painted both of these rose gold and then glued the O on and then the pumpkin on top of it to make a little mug. So this would be really cute and I feel like it needs to say something about hot coffee or pumpkin coffee but I actually decided to just spell out cold brew because it's still the end of summer and I love iced coffee. 
definitely pumpkin iced coffee although i'll drink pumpkin hot coffee once it gets a little cooler out comment and let me know do you like pumpkin coffee if you're a coffee drinker do you do you like the pumpkin spice pumpkin coffee or is that not your thing i feel like people either love it or hate it <laughs> i just spelled out cold brew with the black letters and then i used some little gold stickers to add the little pumpkin in script there up at the top. I think that looks really cute. Added a bow and some little flowers for fall and this sign is done. It's going to look so cute on my coffee bar, which I can't wait to style the coffee bar for fall. I also want to take a moment now and thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Green Chef. I have myself been using Green Chef for almost a year now, and I really, really enjoy the convenience and the variety of foods and dishes that we get to try. So right now I have a choice of a pesto penne primavera or a Thai peanut noodle stir fry. This is a new one, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. This one I've actually ordered multiple times from them because I love this meal. It is so good, but I'm going to save that for another night and try something new today. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and they're now owned by HelloFresh to offer a wider array of meal plans to choose from. So there is something for everyone. They make it easy to eat well and discover new recipes that are delicious, high quality, and sustainably sourced. I love that they offer dishes for a variety of lifestyles, whether you're looking for keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian. I love that the recipe cards come with step-by-step -step instructions. They even have photos of how to make everything step-by-step -step so it's really easy and simple and you can even save your recipe cards to use again in the future. We use Green Chef to help us eat healthier and it's also an easy way to try new recipes. It's super convenient because everything is hand-picked, pre-measured, perfectly proportioned, so we don't waste any ingredients and everything is delivered contact-free right to your doorstep. It just saves so much time not having to worry about going out to the grocery store, meal planning, meal prepping, and even Mike and Renee who never cook have made lunches and dinners for us before using Green Chef and it's just easy for them and everything takes it's really amazing. This took just over 30 minutes to make start to finish and it's perfect so I can get back to crafting gymnastics later so you can get lots done today. Quick, healthy, easy dinner. And Green Chef has given me the best deal I've seen. So I'm super excited to be able to give you guys $100 off across four boxes plus free shipping on your first box. Just go to greenchef.us and use the code stylemysweets100, all one word, Again, that'll give you $100 off across four boxes, plus free shipping on your first box. This is the best deal. All of the information will be down below in the description box. For the next one, I'm making two little wooden pumpkins. And to do this, I'm taking a two by two inch wooden square from Dollar Tree's craft section, along with one of these wooden square pencil holders. And I'm just gonna dilute a little bit of the antique wax with some water and just kind of brush that on to make a light stain. You could also dilute any brown acrylic paint or chalk paint. You can dilute it with water and brush that on and you'll basically get the look of a wood stain. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of white chalk paint, brush that down the sides because I do wanna create a little bit of more of like a vertical line going down from top to bottom just because, you know, that's kind of how the lines on the pumpkins go. So I thought I would do that and then add on these little wooden pieces up on the top to be the little pumpkin stem. These are also from Dollar Tree. You can get a whole bag of them. They're kind of sometimes a little hard to find. I actually got these last fall. So keep an eye out for them because you'll probably be seeing them come out again soon in the store. If you don't already have some or you don't see them right now, they'll probably be out soon. I'm going to add little pine cones on here. You could definitely, if you've got some leaves, like you know, some of the floral leaves, extra leaves, you could add that if you want. I decided, again, keeping the very neutral tans, whites, browns, colors on here, really neutral, rather than adding a green leaf, I thought I would just add some of these cream colored berries and a little cream flower, as well as the brown pine cones. And then I had a little bit of this berry garland as well. This is actually from the Christmas stuff, which again is going to be out before you know it, it'll be out in the fall. And they do have it with like red berries, red and orange berries, white berries. I am using the gold berries here. We have a small and a large pumpkin and just super adorable. 
I'm going to continue with that wet paper towel that I'm using for my antique wax. I've got my water and antique wax like kind of diluted here. Nothing fancy, just kind of brushing that onto this little wooden crate now. And for this one, this one I'm actually going to end up putting in my fall tree. Comment and let me know, do you ever do a fall tree? Do you think they look pretty or, you know, is it something you'd rather skip? <laughs> If you guys have been following me for a while, you've probably seen some of my fall trees. I've even done decorate with me videos um, in the past here and also over on my other channel, Rebecca Jean, which is a little more of like a homemaking vlog channel. For today, I'm gonna go ahead and create this little pumpkin, a crate full of pumpkins, a pumpkin crate. We're gonna spray paint the pumpkins. So I've got a lot of rose gold and copper colors. You could definitely just leave these pumpkins with the orange and the cream color that they come and just leave it like that. That's gonna be perfect for fall as well. So you don't even need to spray paint them. I just decided to because I think it's going to fit better with the decor that I want to put on the tree. I'm gonna decorate for fall. So stay tuned and you guys will see how that fall tree comes together. But we're going to also add some stickers on the front here. I'm spelling out Farm Fresh. There's so many things you could write on here. And I was not sure, you know, pumpkins, pick your own. Pumpkins, um, five cents a pound. Like, I don't know. There's so many things you could write. I did add these little gold sticker dots onto the end here of the wooden crate. And I love it. I think it makes it look so much more realistic because it looks like nail heads. And it just makes the wooden crate look so much more realistic. And then I love that I can use the gold ones with the gold sticker. I think it just really finishes off this wooden crate. It makes it look so cute. Now I need a handle for it. You definitely don't need to have one unless like you want to hang it in the tree like I want to do. Like I said, I'm hoping to put this in the fall tree when I get that up in a few weeks. So I used some nautical rope and a little bit of hot glue and I just kind of created a little handle here for myself. And then with a little bit of raffia, I stuck that down inside and added my pumpkins. So cute. This just turned out really adorable. I think it's going to make a cute accent piece for my fall tree. The next one with these pumpkin frames, there's so many things you could make out of them and I've definitely seen people create centerpieces out of them. I feel like that's kind of an obvious thing to do and they just, they make like a large statement piece for the center of a table, so I love that. I spray painted these rose gold and now I'm just gonna take a little of this fishing line. You could probably use a zip tie too, but it's a little thicker. I like the fishing line because it's clear, it's invisible, and it just ties like a very tiny clear knot and holds these together. So I just did one on each side and that way it's kind of giving this a little bit of stability. Now for the center in the middle of for my base, I'm taking one of these little wooden pallets from Dollar Tree and some of the wooden blocks. So these little wooden cubes, I glued one on each corner and this is just going to give us a little bit of a base to create some stability for our centerpiece. Now I'm gluing in a piece of foam in the middle so I can stick all of my fall florals and pumpkins into there. Dollar Tree has so many options for fall florals, fall pumpkins, you name it, lots of cute things you could stick in here. So I'm actually starting with this bunch that has a few different types of colors. It does have a little orange in there, I know, but this one is actually left over from something I did last year. I can't remember what piece it came off of, but I decided to save it anyway. I really like the color combination here. So I'm going to kind of lay in some of these longer florals and then fill in with the other ones and with some leaves all around. And I am leaving some space in the middle because I want to add some pumpkins in the center. I've got these velvet pumpkins. And then once I lay the pumpkins in there, I can just fill in around any gaps around the pumpkins with some of the extra leaf pieces. So cute, really, really easy. This honestly took basically minutes to make. It was just easy and fun and you could definitely do it in any color that you want. I think it looks so pretty. It's gonna make a great statement piece on the table and it's gonna be just a really beautiful piece for my fall decor. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these neutral fall home decor and room decor DIYs. Make sure to also check out Green Chef. I'm gonna have that link down below so you can check it out. Go to greenchef.us forward slash style my suites 100. That's gonna all be in the description box down below so you can get $100 off and free shipping on your first box. It is an amazing deal. So definitely check it out if you've been curious about Green Chef. This is the best deal they've ever given me to share with you guys. So check that link out down below in the description. And as always, I wish you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you soon in the next one. Can she say bye? <laughs>